Yo, what's up guys? We got Poe Game here. Today we're going to be making Electrode look like Reggie Alecki. Now the title is perfect. Why? Let me tell you. Because sometimes Reggie Alecki is a god, right? Sometimes you pair it with Zoroark or Klefki and you give him the ring target and it puts in work. Or you use it in VGC and Electrowebs and it's amazing. And then other times, you fight Excadrill Lander or Sterian, and Reggie Alecki does absolutely nothing. Which is why I'm going to make Electrode look like Reggie Alecki because it doesn't matter which way. It either way, it's going to look like Reggie Alecki. It's either going to be useful or useless. So today we're using Choice Specs Electrode in RU with some hazards stack. If you guys want the team, it's on my website, pogame.com. It might be on a little bit late because that's my fault. But we got Specs Reggie Alecki here. <laughs> Let me call it Reggie Alecki. I also could have made it dual screens because it was the original Legend Lucky, but we have Spikes Quillfish with faster speed for Needle Queen, and then we have Needle Queen with Stealth Rock, Specs Haunter, um, Choice Scarf Mesprit. I may put Grass Knot and Ice Beam over this just to weaken the ground types, and then I have a Life Orb, Taunt, Explosion, Skun Tank. I think this is going to be really nice for like Gastrodon because I can Poison Jab it and get the poison upon switching and then explode on it with 250 base power. So if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like. Also, if you are new to the channel, subscribe if you like the content i mean i upload competitive pokemon content every single day my end of the year goal is 300,000 subscribers we're actually really close to 280,000 subscribers so hey who knows man who knows we might actually get there before the end of the year but if you do enjoy it make sure you leave a like and subscribe and i will see you guys in a second also i have a really fun video coming up i feel but i'll see you guys in a sec with a battle because we we cannot find one in the ru tier apparently i have tested this team enough to know that there are a lot of weaknesses however this pokemon is not terrible that's for sure so i'm about to show you guys a new regular i'm about to show you i got my training arc done so i'm about to show you why this mon is a demon um i changed skun tank from taunt to defog just after a few games oh, we're gonna start with regular lucky they don't let me put regular regular lucky in its name so i'll vault as they go hard glygar which is fine uh, they can Earthquake, they can knock off. I don't need my Choice Scarf on Mesprit in this game. Like, I mean, it's good because they have no... Their Psychic Resist is really bad. It's Mesprit. Oh, it looks like they're... Hopefully they win a Speed Tie and go for U-Turn. But I mean, every bit of damage on this guy is good, too. Got Thunderbolt's whatever to me. They're Life Orb. So yeah, I basically beat them 1v1 with this, which is great. Uh, Coolfish deals with that Pokemon, too. Let's see if they paralyze me. They did not. Perfect. And I can defog. There's no Violite on the Gligar either. And I have Sucker Punch for the Amistar. So, I mean, I get rid of a pretty big threat, I would say. And I can get up Spike in this game, too. Maybe they go Amistar. Best case would be if Amistar came out. Oh. You're going to fake me out and try and go for your boost? I'll let you do it. Maybe you just Sucker Punch me immediately. They are Scarf Poison Jab. Good to know. I mean, they have literally no switch into this Pokemon then. This guy just clicks Ice Beam. Yeah, and I also, um, I had to go on like a lower account because my other account was just not getting games. So we know there's Scarf. Gotta keep Needle Queen alive no matter what. I'm going to assume Earthquake is your play. So I'm going to make the Haunter play now. Yes. And the play that hits everything without letting Amistar set up for free is Dazzling Gleam. Actually, the play is to double out to Reggie Alecki. And go for Volt Switch here. Go for Volt Switch right now. You're not Scarf Toxic. Go for Volt Switch. Bring out Quillfish. Get up a spike to break the Amistar. I wasn't sure that Thunderbolt would KO. So I, I learned to Volt Switch with this Pokemon. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're going to spike up here as him only comes out. Oh, and I'm going to Thunder Wave the hell out of you, bro. There's no way Earthquake knocks me out. As they go, Swallow, beautiful, beautiful. Haunter, don't want to die here. They still have Facade and Brave Bird, but Haunter picks up the KO after. Let's go for a Waterfall. Maybe I just flinched them anyway. Awesome. Okay, so Swallow can click, uh, quick attack me to knock me out. Yep, there we go. Trying to think. Again, we're just trying not to let Haunter in for free. Or uh, almost starting for free. So, go for Dazzling Gleam here. It basically hits everything. Pick up a KO. And then, obviously, the Hitmonlee gets to come out now if it wants to. There you go, you. Just odd. I'm going to make the Needle Queen play. Not sure why you would come out. Yeah. There's, there's not a lot I want to... 
I don't want to have to fight this. I'm assuming the him only ends up going for um, Rabbit Spin. So depending on what the him only does now, I'm actually going to get Click Stealth Rock in front of it. Because if they Rapid Spin, then I can obviously switch. Uh, this guy doesn't matter at all. Obviously, this thing dies. Shuka, that doesn't matter at all, bro. I'm a Needle Queen. Life Force, Shear Force. I knew that would die through that. And then it's just Hitmonlee, which can't win. So we're going to go for another game. Nice, nice. The tests, made. The tests are working. We're winning. That's the important part about testing teams, I think, and making changes as well. Uh, they go for Earthquake there. But I have I hit a Haunter, which they have to forfeit. So again... Again, it's like a brand new account just because I could not find games to save my life on the higher account. Are you, unfortunately, is a dead ladder? I think a lot of BDSP is dead, which is unfortunate. Um, OU and UU are pretty up there, though, which is cool. But the others aren't as um, the others aren't as played right now. And I, I mean, it's a combination of things, right? It's not like it's a real meta. I have another uh, team right here as well that I want to use. But it's a combination of things, right? It's not like an official metagame, I would say. Like it is, but it isn't. I, you know, it's a side metagame. It's kind of like Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, but I think a little bit more accepted just because it is your traditional Pokemon versus that being candies and stuff. Oh my god, this dude has a Venusaur and, and a lot. We're going to do... We're going to put in the second team as well, and I'm definitely going Choice Specs on this bad boy. Going Flamethrower. And we're going to turn. Yeah. Oh, we're, de we're definitely doing this. Yep, this team is this is Reggie Alecki too. I gotta call it this because they don't they don't let me do the nickname. I learned that as well, which is really sad. Reggie two. Okay. So Needle Queen is the goat in this game. That's the, for sure the goat in this game. Uh, Rotom is a little scary. Quillfish can be a little annoying too. I like Mesprit's ability to kind of beat these guys as a lead. I gotta be very careful about you though. You're you're very annoying. You're very, very annoying versus me. Oh my god. Yeah, Rotom could be Choice Scarf, which is the annoying part. Alright, we'll go Needle Queen. Uh, basically doesn't care about Rotom initially, and if it wants to go for Shadow Ball, I'm good. If it goes for will o -Wisp, it's okay too. Uh, I just want Chip on this guy. They end up tricking me a Choice Scarf, which is not the end of the world. But honestly, that's not that bad. They don't really have the best Ice Beam switching, so I'm going to go for it again. They'll die right now if they go for Shadow Ball, so yeah, that's great. I mean, they died a Life Orb, so that's perfect. Awesome. Pretty decent start, I would say. Kabutops comes in. We're going to go Quillfish to hopefully deal with that. I can always Healing Wish my homie if things get rough. I'm going to Thunder Wave here, just in case they're... Bro, 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 bro. Okay, they're definitely weak armor. Yeah, like, what are you doing? They're trying to sweep. That's what they're doing. It's going to take us faster. Aqua Jet. Psychic might not even KO them. <laughs> Yo, I am scared. All right. Let's pray. Yep. I prayed. I prayed hard enough. So, chop one off for Reggie Alecki. Let's go. Uh, I like Mesper because I can Dazzle and Gleam the Absol. Which I 100% will. They end up going Gramble, though. Thunder Wave is an option, as is Play Rough. Reggie Lucky is the most useless member, so I'll use you. Yep. And we'll click Hyper Beam because this Mon is useless. But I'm honestly, I did a lot of damage. So at the end of the day, how useless was I truly? The answer is not. All right, we'll Sludge Bomb here to get rid of Gramble. Doesn't let Absol set up for free. I have Skuntan to click Explosion on everything, and then Shadow Ball wins the game. So we should be pretty good now. We should be real good. Look at that little Hyper Beam, bro. I really felt like a Reggie Alecki there. Hard, Skun Tank, and Explosion is my play. This dude will SD you up with every Pokemon, dude. They could have been Sash as well. But at this point, I got to make the play that I think will win. There's Venusaur. Just Shadow Ball for Chip. As they Leaf Storm. <laughs> are they in Overgrow or are they one point away from Overgrow? I think they're like one point away from Overgrow. <laughs> like, had that been Overgrow, I'm pretty sure I'd die. Like, just straight up. Oh, this is max special defense. Holy crap. Doesn't matter, though. Good game. Definitely, uh, definitely could have been a little bit scarier had my opponent breaking through with that Aqua Jet. Because I'm assuming plus three Aqua Jet cooks this Pokemon. Maybe it doesn't, though. There's no way it doesn't. It always dies. <laughs> but I was blessed. And you know what? We take those.
We definitely take those. Plus three Aquaja has to kill. Oh, it was only a 6.3% chance to kill. Cool. And I made it adamant because my Quilfish was faster, so I assume it's not Jolly. Nice. Okay, okay. So I'm not, I don't feel, Skull to Surf is an invalid move. Bro, just, just, just let me do it. Let's do, let's do Skull. Let's do Skull. You know what Mon's really broken in this tier, by the way? Sharpedo. Absolutely broken. It beats all balances. It can run special or physical. But that Mon's always broken in RU, in my opinion. Ooh, double, double, double ground. Let's go. However, we do know how to deal with these. I know how to deal with these. I lead right here and I click Earthquake. I actually don't do that. The best lead is legitimately Moltres because it loses to none of these and has, I mean, it loses to Slowbro, but I can, uh, or Slow King, <laughs> excuse me. But I can go my own, so we're good. Scarf, Toxic, Foul Play stuff. You definitely have an Earth Power. I believe in you. And I have you as well, so I'm okay. Now let's go Moltres, and let's try and cook a guy. So tempted to cook this Mon, but it is better to U-turn and bust its stuff. I think it'll be good. Yeah, that just rocks, which is fair. I'm going to have to defog anyway, so I'm just going to go for Earthquake. Oh, they crit me. Unfortunate. <laughs> I could see them being cussed up here. Foul play knocks him out, and I can defog after. So, I can see them being cussed out. They have no switches to Earthquake. Like, Setsau's barely a switching. And also, Hurricane kills every Mon now. So, I would rather them throw away this. Yeah, they are cussed out for sure. Scarf you is decent. I assume you might be Specs. I'm gonna go Mesprit anyway. Who cares? If they. I got best case scenario here. We literally U-turn for free. Perfect. They probably go Slow King. That allows me to bring out my Skun Tank. And uh, Defog. Doesn't matter if they Scald or whatever. Just Defog away these rocks for my Moltres. My Lucky looking kind of clean, bro. Free Toxic. Can't miss. They could go Needle Queen, but that's fine. How much did they do with that Drain Punch? 15? Maybe that's SD. Perfect. So that thing's on a timer now, which means Slow King is absolutely free. Psychic hits everything. So I'm just gonna go for Psychics here. Who cares about Thunder Wave if they're on a timer? Fine, I'll click Ice Beam. Just because they should go Sceptile. Or should try to. Yep. I'll do it just for the culture. Let's get this threat out of here. All right, awesome. Awesome. Now I just gotta kill Golem. No, I go I go you. Because if they if they boom, I'm good. Yep. And this also prevented the rock. So this is a, such a good turn for me. Very, very, very good turn. Mess for time. They die if they stayed in. We bring out you. I'm pretty sure Earthquake kills or kills with poison. Yeah, because I have a lot of attack on this boy. So they die there. Beautiful. They're going to Ice Beam here, but that doesn't matter. Oh, they did an Ice Beam. Which means Overheat picks up a KO. And if I kill this Mon, it's over. The Lucky wins. Let's go. Slow King. Because this guy can just click it again. They're probably Thunder Punch, right? They just high jump kick. What a demon. Are you Scarf, dude? That did 42%. That has to be Scarf, right? I'm just gonna Flamethrower. Yeah. Oh my god. 50%. Calm down. Hard. Yep, 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 yep. Die. Die. Get the roll. Ugh. It's the replay. Hold up. I accidentally... I didn't mean to skip turns there. My mouse was just there and I was trying to move it. Okay, on the banded play rough. No, that was just regular play rough. Hit them with Electro Ball. Did 97%. They play rough aftermath. That's a Reggie Lucky kill, baby. That's a Reggie Lucky kill. Hell yeah, that's a Reggie Lucky kill. We, <laughs> you know we count those. <laughs> you know I count those. <gasps> no ground type. 
But this isn't Hazard Stack, which is very unfortunate because I get cooked by you. Yeah. That's fine. Stop this. Stop leading with this Pokemon. How dare you. <laughs> How dare you. How dare you acknowledge the fact that I have no switches. How much does this guy do to Chansey? Let's get rid of that. 21 to 20 something percent. Okay. Not good. Gonna Toxic. And now I'm gonna bring out Rhyperior and I'm gonna click Earthquake. If they give me Chansey, I can win. Basically, I go from one fat HP Mon to another fat HP Mon. That way they can't touch me with Seism Toss. Stupid Chansey. Dude, yesterday I was trying to catch Happini in Legends Arceus. And this dude, this stupid egg, runs away from me. But you know, me, I, I play it off because that's what I do. Uh, <laughs> and, oh my god, help me. Are you going to Boom Burst or are you going to Surf? I'm going to make this play just in case they Surf. Yes. And now we're going to double the right here. They should go Chansey. Please don't serve again. I will literally lose this game if I lose the right which is why I'm going to make this double. Come on, dude. Really? Screw it. Much as well die. Maybe they think they... They don't die, so they'll knock me out. Yep. So I'll knock out. Okay, with them right there. Let's go. Worth every penny. Cacleon comes out. Let them touch me. I hope you get burnt. Real Skun Tank here is a power punch again. Going to simply fat out play. That'll kill them, I think? That'll kill them with Aftermath, that's for sure. Oh yeah, perfect. And they died at Aftermath too, so I can actually go for Toxic here as well. Alright, they're gonna die to Aftermath, so it doesn't matter what they go for. Should I keep you alive because you have Taunt? I really should. No, 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 no. You're, I'm gonna believe in you. So they die here to Aftermath, so that's fine. Oof. <laughs> they die here to Aftermath. But yeah, but then, so, that Happiini ran away from me, but I'm like, guys, it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna catch another Happiini. I did not, uh, because I found another Happiini, and what it did was, it ran away from me as I got into battle. I was so pissed off. The moral of the story is, screw you, Happiini. Screw you. Uh, anyway, we Volt Switch here, obviously, on modest specs. It, I, I pray it kills a Drift Limb. There we go. Now we go Mesprit because it deals well with Machamp and Golduck. Golduck, obviously a threat. Huh? Oh. Really? Moltres is kind of useless, I'm assuming. And I can Healing Wish. Basically, I can get Earthquake kills, so. I don't want them knocking off this Mon. I'd rather be able to go out to Regieleki again and just click Volt Switch. Again, it's going to be called Regieleki a million times this live. I'm not acknowledging that it's Electro. It's the original Regieleki. Why did they not give Electro Mind Blown? It's also the original Mind Blowner. Like, it it should have Mind Blown. Does nobody agree with me? You know what? If you agree with me, write the comment right... If you've written another comment, write the comment right now. Re uh, Electro should learn Mind Blown. I feel like it should definitely get Mind Blown. Nuts. <laughs> I was about to U-turn, but I'm like, no, they're not going Chansey for whatever reason, so I'm going to play this. This is Cloud9, so it's not Swiss Swim. Beautiful chip. I, I was cooking it again anyway. There's nothing you can do to stop this. I'm a Specs Moltres. My boy gets another KO. KO. And then I bring out right here again. I guess. I guess that's a good game. I didn't realize they forfeit. <laughs> what? Dude, I feel like your Chansey walled all my special attackers. And what I was trying to do was position myself to bring out the man, Rhyperior, and click Earthquake as many times as possible. That's all I was trying to do. But I feel like they also just gave my uh, 
My Spectrode. Ew, that's such a disgusting name. I'm sorry. My Regieleki. My bad. I didn't mean to be rude. The 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 chance to just click Volt Switch. Like, bro, what are you doing? Oh, also, how have you guys been liking the uh, the return of Sword and Shield OU? Um, in terms of me playing it myself, it kind of depends on what Pokemon news we get out in a couple days. Because Pokemon Day, this is what I'm hoping for, right? This is what I'm hoping for on Pokemon Day. Listen, listen real closely. I'm talking to you. Jesus, man. One and two? I don't know if I can beat this. Oh. No, I do not want to exit. Uh, SD right here is insane, though. But they have that Pokemon. Okay. This is going to be hard. Still starting off with you. They have this mon too. Damn, they have a lot of good Pokemon versus me. I like Slowking's extra belt attacks here. I'm going to start with right here. Wait, they left. Are they pulling time? But yeah, so if the... If Pokemon Day and the, the news is that the Legends Arceus Pokemon are allowed in BDSP, cool. I'll play more BDSP. If the news is that Pokemon Home came out for BDSP and now we can use transfer moves, cool. I'm playing that too, obviously. Come on, burn, 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 burn. If the news is... Oh my god. I think Solid Rock here, dude. There's no freaking way you keep this thing alive, yeah. I'm still going back out to my Pokemon, because it's insane now. What? If... If the news is that, like, the Pokemon are now allowed in Sword and Shield, or that they're putting the... I don't care about Torterra at all. I literally don't. I want a Voltswitch so badly because I have Moltres again. I'm a Voltswitch. Yup. Yup. If the news... Oh my god. Leave a like for that play, by the way. Oh my god. They left instantly, dude. They left instantly. The great thing is I can go out to Skuntank and click Foul Play. Because they're definitely banded. I can go out to Skuntank and click Foul Play. They can't kill me if they get cussed at because they're not banded. Well, they wouldn't be banned. And if they go Chansey, I just foul play in the taunt. But if the news is that the Pokemon that were in Pokemon... Uh, what's it called? Oh, I finally burnt him. Let's go. If the news is that the Pokemon that were in... <laughs> this guy got styled, dog. <laughs> if the Pokemon that are in BDSP are going to be allowed in Pokemon Sword and Shield, I'll play more Sword and Shield. Because that means I can use Dawn Fan and all these mons in that meta, you know? Anyway, we go Skun Tank here for sure. This looks like Sticky Web plus that. I just taunt the, uh, I taunt this mod and then I click File Play a couple times. Specs Moltres looks absolutely insane. Actually looks insane. And if I can beat down Needle Queen, I can win as well. So, they go hit him on top, which is okay to start it off. We're gonna take that hit. They thiefed me. Alright. Um, Moltres still looks insane. But I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Moltres in U-turn. I just realized my speed tier on this Mon. So I'm actually not faster. This is this is like best case scenario. Specs Hurricane. <laughs> Alright, so we can Volt Switch now. Let's go. I was debating like what I want to click. I was really debating what I wanted to click. I can easily defog with this Pokemon, so. Hurricane again. I mean, best case is they confuse himself, but they probably forfeit if they do, right? It is time. Electrode, you are in. You are now. And they click Stealth Rock over anything else. So I just get to click Specs Thunderbolt. But yeah, so I have a lot of hopes, but at the same time, I, don't, I, I think the most... Oh my god. I think the one that's going to happen the most... I'm definitely clicking that again. I think the one that's going to happen the most is the uh, the chance of... And this is great too because I can click Earthquake and they don't have Intimidate on him on top. And I'm offensive on my right here, you know? Uh, but I think the one that's going to happen is that Pokemon Home will be available. However, we'll see, right? We'll honestly see. We'll, we'll see what happens. I can heal with you technically, but I don't think it's worth it. Plus, they can burn themselves, you know? They don't burn themselves, that's fine. I don't think they can touch this Pokemon, so I'm going to default. 
Like, you're obviously Tekken top, right? So Mach Punch is your last move. Probably don't have to defog, to be honest, but you never know when rocks make a difference. Are you just gonna thief me? Yeah, so I should be able to bring out you. Dazzling Gleam. I'm not worried about Hound Doom. Because it can't be NASA Plot and Sweet Me plus Sucker Punch and Sweet Me, you know? Don't think I need this mod. Yep, their specs, perfect. I just get to click Thunderbolt now and get a KO. Give me that Pokemon. Oh my god, let's go, baby. Let's go. Dodrio, Shmodrio. Let me let me let me go slow king just in case. Oh, and they were banded quick attack. So I get a kill right now with Psychic. <laughs> I told you I get a kill with Psychic, and I meant it. Not bad, dude. And Aleki was about to go crazy once again. Yo, Reggie Lucky did good, bro. Reggie Lucky did good. Like it, that was a good game. That was a good game. Second team, a little bit easier to pilot, I feel. Though we did completely smash that salt team. <laughs> it wasn't really a stall. I mean, I just see Chansey plus Mantine plus the leftover store terror, so I just assume, but the core is work the core is working out. Oof. This is a, a game we lose like ten times out of a hundred. Jolteon, so I can't click anything. Rhyperior, so I can't click anything. I mean, Specs Overheat is still insanely powerful here. Don't get me wrong, but damn, this is going to be a hard game. It's this mod in particular that's going to be annoying. I'm going to go Skun Tank. Get a Toxic first and then Defog. As they go for Angel Power and try and boost me. How dare you? Or <laughs> try and get the boost. All right, so. Going to Taunt. That way they can't set that up. And then I got to keep Skun Tank alive for Sharpedo. So I would rather go this, which shouldn't die. And then I can knock them out with Ice Beam. After poison damage, I'm pretty sure. Because I'm extra well boosted, right? And this is definitely offensive, right? This has to be offensive. Uh, we're going to go Skun Tank. Because they get up rocks here. They go Sharpedo. I hate you for doing this play. Yeah, I couldn't even sw I think I just straight up lose to this Pokemon. What? Wait, this team gets... I just lose to this Pokemon if it's Earthquake then. Yeah, it's over. It's been fun. Okay, I knew I was getting crushed, but I didn't realize that Skuntank was gonna, like, die immediately. But that mod's broken, to be fair. Like, even on the other team with Quillfish and Sucker Punch Priority, I can't do much. But yeah, I, I just... There was no way to outplay that at all. Water move, crunch, whatever attack they went for. I had Aftermath. I guess I had double Aftermath, so I could force that. But even then, without Reggie Lucky at the end, I wouldn't be able to win. So, yeah, that was, that, was, that was just a crushing, a crushing defeat. But I couldn't do anything about that. That mod needs to be banned from this tier. That mod needs to 100% be banned from this tier. But that's if people even play it. You know what sucks? I was really excited about... Um, what? How, how can I help you? How can I help you, my friend? Tell me right now. I will do this for you right now. This is all I want to... All I want to do is help you out. I just need to see all their HP. Okay, I will switch multiple times. No problem, dude. I oh, uh, at first I was like, maybe I'm gonna be in one of those videos where oh my god, toxic player, and I was about to talk so much shit, <laughs> just just so I can be, because you know, sometimes the videos are are, I think some of them are real, and I think some of them are definitely exaggerated, right? But I was like, let me help. They can also see their HP by looking at their Pokemon, can't they? It tells you the HP when you look at it. I, okay, so they're definitely playing through Pokemon Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl. The greatest stall game. They're definitely playing through it, right? I think that's all their mods. I wish I could do slash tie. Cool. Now, I will kill all your Pokemon. Y yes. <laughs> yes, yes. 
<laughs> you too. <laughs> what if it doesn't kill because they're I mean, I know, I know it will kill, but because they're attack. Die. 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 Sick team. Die. Good luck in your BDSP playthrough. Or something like that. Whatever that is. It probably is. Okay. Threats. Jolteon, Mesprit. Very, very strong in this game, Moltres. Extremely strong in this game. And I can afford to click Overheat once, because even if they Thunder Wave me, I can heal and wish this Pokemon. So, wow, that's max special defense. We'll go right here, just in case they do have Thunder Wave. Yawn is okay. I think that allows me to go Skun Tank, but they're just going to U-turn out, right? I need this mod. <laughs> it's so good. It's fine. I need to get rid of Oxy the most anyway. And plus this mon can wake up. Like nothing on their team actually kills this mon. So one thing on their team actually kills this mon. Seven things on their team actually kill this mon. Do I need this mon at all? Not really. I'd rather die. <sighs> Such an easy switch for them. Maybe they think I'll go for Reflect, though. Even though they have three... Their entire bottom row beats this Pokemon. Which is why I'm hoping that opponent play bad, you know? <laughs> so weak to this. Scarf Psychic is actually a decent... Yeah, let me just sack this Pokemon. I'm assuming this guy's banded, maybe. They don't even have to be. I'm so weak to their team. Yeah, they were banned. Okay, so we're gonna wake up here, we're gonna click Stone Edge, and we're gonna get the kill on Uxie, or on Manti. We're gonna wake up here, we're gonna click Stone Edge, and we're gonna get a kill on Uxie. And then they're gonna bring out Vileplume. That's banded right here, man, freaking threat. Mantine comes out and just clicks water move too, and I can't stop that. Now, I can live this hit unless they're offensive, and then I can healing wish it back, I guess. That's probably what I'm going to do here. I have just lost the game. <laughs> there might have been a world where I win that game just because of how good Rhyperior is, but that was not the world. That was not the world. Who do I have next? I haven't used this team in a minute. Let's go with this team, and we'll call it that. I should have ended after I helped that person check their HP, even though they can look, they can literally look at their HP so by scrolling. I'm not sure what, maybe they're on their phone and they were trying to do it. I have, I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. But yeah, we're gonna get one more game and then I gotta cook. Holy crap, it's 4.13. I have not eaten today. I had to take my dog to the, uh, the vet. Luckily, she's doing all right. But I was worried, you know? And I didn't actually get to record or do anything. This video's going up hella late. Oof, dual screens plus setup. Don't know if this is max speed, but there's not a lot of ways I can stop this Pokemon from doing its thing versus me. I'm just gonna try and lead Haunter. I know it involves letting Linoon do its thing, but basically I don't think I die. <laughs> yo, yo, if I die immediately this, that'd be so funny. Perfect. Uh you don't have a poison jab switching, so we're going for it. Area dose. If I explode here, I kill this guy and don't prevent and prevent sticky web. So I'll do it. Because my defogger can't touch them naturally, so yeah, that was my play. Uh how do we do this? I know they're gonna get up screens, right? So my plan is to get up hazards, obviously. And then getting quillfish. And then get them more hazards. They're probably Memento as their last move. We're gonna we're gonna spike up as well. 
Just get up as many hazards as possible as the, as the play. Gonna taunt this guy too. They could easily earthquake me. But I have to make this play. Perfect. So spikes up for Light Noon. I think will go a long way as well. Uh, I mean, especially with all these hazards up, right? Alright, so, I mean, through Light Screen they'll live, obviously, but... Yeah, I had a feeling I lived here. Perfect. I just need to weaken the Uxie. <laughs> I need to weaken the Uxie. And then... Not let them set up. Maybe that's Belly Drum Magmortar too. I'm asleep, so I'm gonna bring out Haunter to get up a reflect for whatever reason. <laughs> We're just gonna click Sludge Bomb, let the memento me. I have hazards up, so I don't know if like, Lightning can actually do this. Can Lightning actually do this? Oh, yeah, it gets. It gets. Ah, uh, does this do 46%? It might do 46%. Poison? No, they were faster. I have the aftermath though, so we're good. I have the aftermath though, so we are good. Let's go. We have to waste some screen turns now. <laughs> it can't belly drum if I hit it, so I'm not gonna let it belly drum. It was belly drum. Mock punch doesn't do crap. Yup. And now one turn of light screen left. I'm fairly confident Psychic uh, Sludge Bomb would Oko this thing, unless it's Scarf. If it's Scarf, it beat me. But it, I don't think it'll even kill me. Let's go, man. And, uh, let's go. Win. Hey, okay, perfect. All right, so we were able to win that. Beautiful. We beat the team I was threatening. And Reggie Lecky helped me at the end, too, with the aftermath. Something that Reggie Lecky can't do, but Reggie Lecky can do in this case. Hope y'all enjoy. We got annoyed that I called Electro Reggie Lecky. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.